Hi Jessica, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for uh, spending some time with us. So, you've been out playing golf for uh, for a while. What, uh, what was life like before golf for you? Oh gosh, life before disc golf? Yeah, is there such um, a thing? Was school. Okay. I started playing when I was six years old, so really, I mean, I got into it in middle school a lot, and um, high school is when it really hit me, and I want to say I went to the 2011 World Championships, and that's kind of what inspired me. Yeah? So what's been your favorite part about kind of uh, life with disc golf so far? Traveling. Yeah? Traveling all the different places is definitely the number one. Do you have a favorite spot? <sighs> My favorite place is definitely got to be Milo MacGyver State yeah. Park. Yeah, the Beaver State Fling really hits home for me. I won my first national tour there. Okay, yeah, that's a good reason to have <laughs> memories there. Um, okay, so, you know, uh, you, generally when we're doing these interviews, we get some pictures and things like that. So I was talking with your mom, getting some pictures. Yeah. And she sent me one picture of you and two pictures of dogs. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about these dogs. These are super <laughs> special, I gotta imagine. My two dogs are my life. Um, I actually brought them on tour with me this year for a few months, but life on the road is just crazy. Um, it was me and Double G, we had two dogs, yep. and we just couldn't make it happen. Um, it's kind of hard when you have everything going on and then you don't really have time for the dogs right. to get as much attention. Sure. So <laughs> who, who are the dogs? What are their names? Nutter Butter. She's a little, she's a Chihuahua and okay. Scrappy Doo. He's a Shih Tzu Terrier. Okay. So are you a big Scooby Doo fan or you just like the name Scrappy Doo? <laughs> no, he just looks like a little Scrappy guy. So okay. I named him Scrappy Doo. Are you a big fan of peanut butter cookies? Uh, I am. I like okay. Nutter Butters. <laughs> All right, I, I can dig she on that. She actually came with her name, though. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, if um, if disc golf was taken away from you, what are you passionate about? What 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 do you what does your mind go to outside of disc golf? Oh man, I mean, before disc golf, I I skateboarded a lot, but yeah, I got hit by a car, and that kind of ruined my dreams. I was going to be a professional skateboarder. While you were skateboarding, you got hit by a no, car. I was oh. walking in a crosswalk, and uh, I got hit by a taxi, and so that kind of ruined my skateboarding days. Um, How old were you? I was 14 years old, and then after that, um, that's when I went to the World Championships at Santa Cruz, and I couldn't compete because I wasn't physically capable of playing five rounds. Sure. So I just went to go observe and watch, and that's kind of what really inspired me. So, I mean, like, do you could if we threw you a board right now, could you still do some stuff, or are you, like, so um, out of practice? Yeah, I would have to go to a skate park probably, yeah. but definitely could do it. I'm sure. Okay, so if we we're going to have like one of those, uh, you know, they have, have like celebrity family feud or whatever, and if you win, they give you $10,000 to give to your favorite charity. <laughs> yeah. If we gave you a bunch of money to give to something else, what uh, what does your mind go to? What, what would your money go to? My money would definitely, uh, it would probably have to go to UC Davis or any kinds of um, cancer, cancer society yep. that would help. Um, I recently lost a little cousin. He was only six years old to cancer. Sorry. So I would definitely donate to them. Yeah. Tell me, okay, so this, this cousin, tell me, tell me something good about this, this cousin, something that makes you smile about he him. He was great. Yeah? He used to wear little cowboy boots and a cowboy hat, and he would just run around, and he was so happy. Man, kids are fantastic, aren't they? Yeah. Jessica, thank you so much for your time. Thank